Isn't that beautiful? It looks just like the cozy cabin. Today is cozy cabin advent. Oops, I just hit myself. Today is the cozy cabin advent, guys. Look, it looks just like our card. It's perfect. Today is the cozy cabin. Hi, girls. What are you eating over there? Found a little bit of remnants of the cracked corn. Oh, they found cracked corn? <laughs> but Jimmy wasn't here. <laughs> Jimmy's not here, girls. Why are you being so mean? Hi, Princess Leia. Good morning, girls. Good morning to the prettiest go. girls in, in New Jersey. Right, Angel? I love the wreath, babe. Lights on the coop, babe? You guys, I can't get over the cozy cabin sky. It's so perfect. I love it. Just want to pop in here and give this a little stir. <gasps> you guys, I wish that you can come in here and smell it. It is unbelievable. The smell, it's all the fruit and the cinnamon and the mixed spice. It is un, oh wow. So this will bake later this afternoon, we'll bake it. Uh, I think it's like at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for a couple of hours. I have to reread the recipe, but. And then let it sit, and then this weekend, mince pies, guys. Hi, guys! It is Vlogmas Day 9. Oh my God. 9! How is it 9 days? But we hope you've been having fun. We've been having a great time doing this for everyone. And the nine days yeah, of Yeah, the nine days of Vlogmas. So today's day nine. We What are you doing today? Mm, uh, nothing exciting, but oh, I am dyeing oh, yarn. Oh you are? Okay. We have to dye mohair and some chunky because we're planning on a shop update for Saturday. Oh. So we're going to have Christmas colors and all that stuff. Um hmm. Excited! And we have some another pom pom delivery. So I'm super excited about that. And we're going to get our wholesale orders out. So we are so busy this week. I have to go downstairs and spin what we dyed yesterday. So it's in the oven. I have to take it out, spin it. You're really busy. You and know that's that? it. And it's super cold today. It's like in the 20s. That's what I have. Oatmeal. My oatmeal's ready to go, and I'm going to elevate it. Oh, you elevated? Yep, like Red Bank Mike likes to do. Yep. So, elevate what do you have? Elevate good times. Come on. Du -du 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 -du. You're not in the. It's in the an vlog, elevation. Well, here's what I did. I just want to show you this because yesterday I uh, made a little bread. Well, we've been waiting for how many days? I put it since. in the fridge overnight. You guys, Look at that. He beauty. hasn't made a bread since last week. Well, I've been, you know, my listen, son I'm even said, are you on strike? Yeah, kind of. Just not. Yeah, he's on strike. He's I, not feeling it. No, no, I'm not. You need some Christmas I'm in a funk. cheer. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, have to put this thing in and have some good bread. A little slicey slicey. What? <laughs> is that like the spatula? <laughs> that is the spatula. This is just a little slack. You know what, I might go for it. So my friend Vanessa was showing me some beautiful um, things that you could do where you add like beetroot powder and stuff. For what? No, you're not gonna do that? You know, like bees and stuff. Oh, there's a little zip to the water. Yeah, a little zip. Wait, beetroot powder to bread? Yeah, I'll show it to you. I'll tag you on Instagram. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. No, you make little designs on the top. It's super high -tech. Oh, really? That's, yeah. Right. That's yeah. kind of girly. No. So you're going to put that in yep. your oven yep. at 450. For 45 minutes and then we'll come back minutes. and 
And then I'll have fresh bread today. Today you can I mean, have some really. fresh bread, huh? I've been waiting. You have? I haven't had bread in two days. Three days. Probably lost 14 pounds. I didn't. We Actually, well, Sunday. What did Sunday we we had? Oh, I had the leftover toast. Because TJ didn't like that dinner. We had, he we never had does. that. That you know, it is. Thing. Oh, it is almost nine o'clock. It's about time you just start discussing what you're having for dinner. You know, I haven't asked you in days <laughs> because he's so cheeky. So I'm going to add some strawberry, uh, strawberries, raspberries, and some, and I'll I'll share the rest with the girls. So I'm going to share the rest with the girls because I'm making them their oatmeal. I um. I read, my friend Meg told me about Fresh Farm Daily or Fresh Eggs Daily and she has a few cookbooks out about chickens and it's like if you start with chickens, everything you need to know with chickens and I really enjoy her posts and in the winter, she lives up in Maine and in the winter she gives her chickens oatmeal because she says it warms them up and I tried it in the summer but my girls didn't like it. They're really picky. But anyway, you should check her out. Fresh Farms, Fresh Eggs Daily. I'll link it right wherever I do it. And yeah, so we have some oatmeal. I set my timer. There's Red Bank's Mike, Red Bank Mike's Red Bowl going into the dishwasher. And I set my timer. you set your timer? And what else do we have for today, for day nine? I, I don't know. I can't believe it's day nine. I can't either. Oh my God, it's crazy. So I did some knitting on my shawl, my Candy Cane Lane Advent Shawl. I wanted to, I stopped a little bit last night. Uh, someone said, how do you find the time to knit? And I said, well, I force myself to, not force myself, but I, I, I tell myself just 15 minutes. Just do 15 minutes. Because everyone could do, you could do anything for 15 minutes, right? Yep. So I, at night, maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes, whatever that is. So I started that, but I want to add a little mohair. So I dyed some to up what? on Sunday to my shawl. So I want to add a little mohair. So I have to wait for that to be dry. I think it should be dry by now. So, yeah. What are you doing today? Working? Yeah. So I, I, just, I have my mints. You smelled it. I smell. It's it smells unbelievable. Really good, yeah. So we're going to bake that later this afternoon. Really? In the oven. Yeah. We're going to bake it. And yeah. That's Someone asked if you tasted the crab corn. Have, have I? No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> it smells pretty good, though. It does? Yeah. You know, my... Mm. 100 years ago, my grandpa worked at a grain elevator. Madison's Best Feeds out in Minnesota. Oh, in Minnesota. And it was like this elevator. So I used to go hang out there a lot. And it had that green dust in the air all the time. That's what makes like grain elevators explode, stuff like that. Back then it didn't matter. But they had this grain dust in the air. And every time I pour the cracked corn, I have flashbacks of the dust. Of I the grain the dust. dust coming yeah. out of the air. Is that what that is? And I it freaks really... me out. I'm like, because I always just remember going home with that stuff in my nose and the smell and I'm like, this is gross. And that's what it does. So I doubt I'm eating cracked corn. You're not. Because it reminds me of Madison's Best Feeds grain elevator. You should start your own cracked corn line called Jimmy's. <laughs> Jimmy Cracked Corn. It's already been taken. <laughs> you guys? Right. Small, dirty from the coffee. He probably just poured the tea. I just right poured in the tea in there. And then when this is done, He'll that's going to be my oatmeal. Yeah. Look at the side. Look at it. That's eight inches in diameter, two inches in diameter. So, anyway, I'm going to eat my oatmeal. Put my boots on and get ready to rinse. You go to work, all right? Yes. I'm gonna go sit I'm here. I'm bundling and, uh, up today. Yeah. I have plenty of layers on. Really? Yeah, it's super cold out. You're Princess Leia as well. I'm Princess Leia. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you soon. It's not elevated, but <laughs> it looks beautiful. I'm wondering why pretty? it's not elevated. Well, I, I just thought you were opposed to elevating hot uh, bread when it came out, so I didn't want to... Uh, <laughs> it's not that I'm opposed, I just don't want it to ruin the block anymore. Yeah, so I put it right here and let it... Uh, <laughs> cool, and then right. you put it, and then you elevate it? Red Bank Mike here for sourdough bread. Hi, girls. Let's go. Oh, it's hot.
going right for the blueberries. So I just put it into the oven. I always put a it's sheet pan on it. Not in the oven yet. Is your oven on gas? Clearly, <laughs> it's not in the oven yet. But yes. So I always put it on this dirty pan that Red Bank Mike ruined the other day when he was making that ham, that gross ham thing. I am a disaster. Yeah. So I'm going to line this with tin foil and then cover some tin foil on here and bake it for three hours on gas mark quota. Gas mark quota. Or uh, 225. You sound like Nigella. So, I may or may not have gotten another Target delivery of my pajamas. So, they were on sale last week, two weeks ago. I can't remember. It did take a long time to get them. Gidget, honey, do you want to eat? I think she wants to eat. I am going to put, oh, I think I'm going to wear my leopard hat out because do you guys know what time it is? Oh my gosh. Do you I'm know what, time, what it time, time it is? Hold on. I gotta go downstairs. It's time to turn on the lights, but it is, oh my God, he's wrapped around me. It is. Do you know what time it is? I just got. Does everybody know it what is, time it is? What time is it, babe? It is crack corn time. Crack corn time. And guess who's going to join us? Gretzky? Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you bringing oh, him course. down? Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you, you out there. Yep. You're going to grab the crack corn? Sure. Okay. Corn Guys, it's, it's really cold. It snowed today. My hat's upside down. It's really cold. I know I say this every day, but it snowed a little bit and my toes are just warming up from dyeing yarn just now. Like it's been two hours and it's, yeah. <laughs> but we are meeting them. Let's go. Let's go. Did you bring Jimmy? I brought Gretzky and... Not Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> we should do a colorway called Jimmy. Cracked corn. Here, uh... Oh my goodness, look at them. Oh my goodness, look at you girls. Oh my goodness. Hi girls. Hi, Megan and Degan. You see the twins, Megan and Degan. That's Megan, that's Degan. Oh, it's time, Connie. Oh. Your favorite time. Hi, Princess Leia. Heat right up. <laughs> Let's heat right up. Did you check for eggs? Oh, no, I didn't bring my thing either. Well, what does that mean? I didn't bring my egg carrier. You're pouring it in their eyes. Well, they're all right. <laughs> Did you just have a flashback of the grain of dust? Of the grain elevator with the dust coming out. I do. It's like, oh, there's an egg on the ground right there. Look oh, at that. no. Someone laid an Someone egg on the ground? Right there. Hold on. Girls, what is that? Did you Hold not, on, not make it into the coop? Why don't you just go get all of them? 
Oh, because we can't hold them? You know how what you could do, babe? You could hold it in your shirt like like this. Babe, I don't do that. Like a like a Swiss. Oh, hi! Oh, see, hi. <laughs> hi. Whoopee! Hi, Princess Leia. <laughs> She's one crazy. Hi. She's one crazy hen. Oopsies. Whoopsies. Upsies. Oh, what are you doing? Whoopsie daisy. Why the door do opened by accident. <laughs> How many did we get? Five. Oh. But I gotta go in. Well, you gotta watch for a minute then. I'm gonna go yeah. put these away. <laughs> do my Bloomberg Is that and I'll be too right much? back. That's five. I'll be right back. I'm gonna. Okay. Hey, Con. All right. Cock a doodle doo. You guys, you have to hear him. Ready? Here we go. It's gonna happen. Here we go. <laughs> At the end, he's like, oh, oh. What's going on, my girls? So, I wanted to pop in. Sorry, my nose got itchy from the mohair for a second. Uh, we are just doing some shipping and labeling, and it's a little bit chaotic in here right now with all the bins and everything. Um, trying to get the orders out. Usually I ship, what's today? Wednesday. What's today's Wednesday. I don't, usually I ship on Monday and Friday, but because it's Christmas, we're trying to get all the orders out. And yeah, so I came up from dying and we're trying to get some orders out. We did get some fun, show you guys, tea. It's so dark in here. It we really always put, here, like to huh? put um, a tea in the orders. If you don't get it, it's Red Bank Mike that shipped it because he always forgets. <laughs> <laughs> but we got Christmas Eve. And Red Bank Mike comes here and he drinks them. Oh yeah. He'll take them. We have cinnamon vanilla, so I always like to put those in the orders. Some candy canes because it's Christmas. Love. He does. He does. They're so good. Um, this is a new color for Saturday. Which is Holly Berry. Holly Berry, the actress? No, that's Halle Berry. Oh. This is Holly Berry. Oh. Left Terry sent me a be oh, posted a beautiful picture. I'll show you guys. I don't have it here, so I can't insert it for inspiration. But it really came out nice. So I'm making a mess. Look what I did. I tracked in some dirt with my shoes. That's so, not good. Thank yeah. God I didn't do it. Yeah, it's not you. So, okay. oh. anyway, <laughs> shut it up. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, should we switch things up? And, oh, today's pumpkin. Right. No, we won't switch things up. We're going to switch up. Mm, we'll wait. We will wait. Okay, guys. Oh, I did get another advent to the mix. My Amanda Solomon fiber bat came. Um, I don't know how to do it though. I'm gonna have to read the directions. Yeah, I'm adventing. Well, not yet. I'm not adventing yet. But that's uh, that's my fiber. It went to like Minnesota and back, babe. My package. It was like redirected all over the place. It was what? crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want so weird. Yep. I was cooking and then I did a little I'm gonna I'm gonna ship for an hour, so yeah. Gonna get to it and it's gonna get to it. <laughs> yeah, get I'm to gonna it. get to it and see you guys soon for advent time. Okay guys, it's time for Advent. I am going to save the one that I got from Amanda Solomon because that is not a good angle over there. Alright. <clears throat> Hi guys! I am going to it's advent time I'm going to open day nine of my marinated box well 
marinated yarns put it together for all of us dyers, which was really sweet. This is from Toad Hollow, and it's Sock Toad Holidays at the Hollow 2020. So let's open this. So pretty. Oh, I'm showing the book. So pretty. I love it. It's perfect. It might look really pretty down here, too. Yay! Okay, let's open up day nine of the Chelsea Lux Advent. Pumpkin. Okay, this is going to be fun juggling this one handed. Hang on. There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. Sorry. There she is. Pumpkin. I love the glitter. Isn't that so fun? I love glitter in the yarn. Something about glitter that just makes me so happy. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Day nine. Now, let's go and get the Oliver and Olive. Not Oliver. Olive and June Advent. Here we go. Gidget is <clears throat> hovering because she wants to sit down. Let's see. Oh, last night. Where did I put it? Oh, you guys, I brought it upstairs. It was, I forgot to put the video, part of the video because I went and got the screwdriver and then I forgot to add it in. It was a little brush to paint on the side of your nails in case if, you, if it goes on the side. I actually really love this nail polish. I use it, I've been using it since the start of COVID. I haven't gotten my nails done and I do them myself every week. This company, it's called oliveandjune.com. I'll link it below for you, but it, it's, it's really wonderful. It stays, make sure you get the top coat. It stays, I mean, I did this Monday, I dye yarn clean on my hands and knees and I still, it's good. You have to just top it up a little bit, but Anyway, here's day nine. Oh, I love this. I actually just ordered a couple more of these because they got some new holiday colors. This is the nail polish remover. And you stick, it's like one of the ones where you dunk your finger in and it all comes off, but it's really good. So if you do order, I would say get the kit. I'll link the kit below, I think you should get that. If you're going to try it, it comes with like three polishes. I think the polishes are eight dollars. For the price, it's really worth it. I'll show you guys my Olive and June collection one day. Collection. You hear that? Collection. <laughs>